Hello everyone. If you're an IT administrator, you might often get requests from users asking to install this or that software on their computers. The tricky part is that your users may not themselves have administrative rights to perform these types of tasks on their computers in the office. On the bright side, you don't have to go to every employee's desk and manually install the software they need, because FixMe IT allows you to perform any type of administrative task remotely, even if the user end cannot. If you want to install a program, let's use Skype as an example, on a limited Windows user's computer, first of all, you'll need to start a new FixMe IT session, enter the client ID provided by the user, and click Connect. The user or the client will then have to accept the request. As soon as the connection is established, you'll see the following message on the expert panel. This means that the remote client does not have administrative rights, and the expert in turn first needs to run the restart client as a service operation in order to elevate to a Windows admin account and proceed to install the software. Click on Restart the client as a Windows system device and enter admin credentials required to elevate to an admin account. The user will receive a corresponding UAC request prompting to either accept or decline the operation. If they accept, you'll be automatically elevated to an admin account on the remote computer and the restart as a service message will disappear from the expert panel. At this point, you no longer have any restrictions for performing administrative tasks remotely. This means that you can install any kind of software, control any UAC prompts that appear on the remote computer, and so on. You can then start the remote desktop control operation in order to view and manage the client's desktop. Download the software from its official website, Run the installation file, enter the admin password once again, and wait until the installation is completed. You can then configure the program settings remotely if needed. As you can see, Skype is now successfully installed on the remote client's computer. Now you can shut down the remote desktop control operation and get back to the expert interface to terminate the support session. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel for upcoming product demos and how to's.